If you're like most of us, you probably made New Year's resolutions and forgot about them halfway through January, but you don't have to completely give up on them. Joining us this morning to talk about how to refocus your New Year's resolutions, mental health expert, Dr. Greg Jansen. Good morning to you, sir. Oh, Thank good you so morning. This is a good one about right now. Absolutely. We're clear into March already. Yes. And the resolutions are clear in the rearview mirror for so many people. Why do you think they give oh, up so early? Guess what? About 80% of us kind of forgot what we even decided to do about now. Well, one, we didn't have a plan. We didn't really have a proactive plan. Well, what happens if, you know, I'm not doing it? Where's my plan? We can have great expectations, but we've got to have that plan. So it's a goal setting at first. And you say the number one uh, New Year's resolution is losing weight, exercise number two. The last 10 years, number one for most of us has been to lose weight, followed by... Um, the whole area of exercise followed by get out of debt. Get out of debt, <laughs> especially now during the winter time. Yeah. You want to get out of debt after the holidays and you want to get back in shape. But you have three main points yes, first. Yes. Now the, the, the two point only, 2% only succeed. Isn't that amazing? 2% about really succeed in maintaining their New Year's goals through the end of the year. They talk about what some a, great discipline. Well, what are they doing differently? What's their I want to be a part of the 2%, right? Yeah. Well, wh one of the things is they always have about two to three what we'll call intimate relationships. People that are trustworthy to give them feedback. Our relationships seem to have a great influence on what we achieve. Interesting. So you need to ask yourself, do I have trustworthy relationships, people in my life that's going to tell me the truth? Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, that we're you're not doing this in isolation. It's not such a, a self uh, right. evaluation. You're talking about looking around you in the and say, well, relationship. What's the quality and of my relationship? You and your quality. Yes, um, those that report higher intimate emotional relationships seem to do better in their goals. So you're going to have to look around you a little bit <laughs> as far as <laughs> well, decide. Okay, what I need to do here? Refocusing. One of the things too is we talk about motivation. Yeah. I mean, you know, a lot of people say uh, I can't do it. I need somebody else oh, to help right. me through that. Motivation levels different. Different a lot of people whether they're just innately motivated or they're not. How do you stay motivated? Oh, and some of us will say things like, Brian, well, I'm just waiting to get motivated. <laughs> that doesn't work. Okay, here's what you do. You've got to have accountability, but it's a joyful accountability. Some people can kind of lose dread. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm being almost punished for being accountable. But what if you could change the attitude and there's joyful accountability, which means I have a couple people in my life, I'm going to tell them the truth, they're going to support me from a positive vantage point. Positive reinforcement <laughs> always helps. And I got to point out this to you. Dr. Jantz has his own eight New Year's resolutions. Oh, yes, yes. And one of them is very key, I think, to a lot of people that they should, they should adopt as well. And well, well I decided that laughter was going to be important. Now, I've had a challenging year, uh, previous year. I decided, you know what? One of the things I need to do more of is, is laugh. And so keep those things before you. I actually have on my desk, I have the goals of my family members, I have my goals, and I am I use a reinforcement plan with my goals. I look at them. And you gotta look at them, you gotta stay to them, and that <laughs> helps a lot. Positive reinforcement. You also say one of the other, other yes. things, look out for the blind spots. Oh, a blind spot, we all have them. What's a blind spot? A blind spot could be something you're not seeing, but others are seeing about you. And guess what, then you gotta be open to the feedback. You gotta look in the mirror. <laughs> you gotta look in the mirror. A blind spot might be something as simple as uh, I have a lot of unforgiveness. Maybe it's self forgiveness. I feel like I've failed a lot in the past. I'm dragging all that unforgiveness into my present goals and it's self sabotaging me. That could be one. Great advice is for somebody who's leaving for Florida tomorrow. <laughs> That's good motivation right there to get you in a good mood and get you back you in the New it. Year's resolutions. Dr. Greg Chance, thank you so much. For more information, check out aplaceofhope.com.